Oh, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. This is James Mathers at NAB 2019 for the Digital Cinema Society and Studio Daily. I'm here at the Avid booth and Rob D'Amico is going to tell us about everything that's new with Media Composer. Thank you very much. It's great to be here, 2019 uh, NAB. Uh, it's a really exciting time uh, for Media Composer. We uh, launched at the reveal of Connect 2019, the all new reimagined Media Composer for the current and next generation uh, user and editor. Um, it has a huge uh, new um, user interface that's much more intuitive, removes clutter from that uh, single um, desktop type of uh, laptop editor, uh, as well as uh, a next generation Avid Media Engine to really and heighten the, uh, the and accelerate the workflows for um, high res media up to 16K, all the way to high definition uh, media with a 32 bit floating point color pipeline that's all new in this media composer. Along with that, the ability to distribute rendering and uh, transcoding off to a uh, network system. So you can st spend more time being creative and stay in that cre creative storytelling mode while uh, your systems on your network are doing your rendering and transcoding. Also, we're uh, redefining um, the way people can finish and deliver all within Media Composer with uh, IMF uh, workflows for decoding and uh, delivery. So you can now deliver IMF packages for your over-the-top workflow uh, uh, content providers, as well as uh, all new uh, ASUS workflow. So we now integrated uh, the ASUS color uh, scheme into Media Composer, so now you can grade in that uh, color, um, as well as um, support for open EXR uh, formats. So you, if you're round tripping from other systems, you can guarantee that your quality is going to maintain pristine uh, without any uh, degradation as you round trip your color uh, workflows with your media, whether it's high res or high dynamic range. Uh, also, we're customizing our tool set to be able to um, uh, adhere to the role of your uh, your team on, in your organization. So with Media Composer, a next tier, gener uh, next tier version of Media Composer with Media Composer um, uh, enterprise, you can actually customize your UI based on the role of the, the person uh, contributing to that production. So if you're a logger, you may not need to export. So you could actually, as a, from an administrator level, remove the ability to export. So it's a way to secure your content as well for um, the production team, as, as well as minimize any mistakes that you can only allow certain project types to get created or uh, minimize the amount of codecs to be used uh, for rendering. So we're all, the, the, the environment is, is using one consistent uh, codec for that production. So now you're uh, subscription-based, all these can be uh, instantly updated. Yes, that's an important factor as well. Over the past few years, we've actually introduced a, a subscription model. So that way, as we make these large improvements to the editor, anybody on an active plan automatically gets uh, the update in their uh, Avid Media account. Now, um, Pro Tools and the other tools are all uh, integrated? Yeah, so the subscription uh, model is, is offered through all the products, creative products, so from Pro Tools to uh, Media Composer to Sibelius, that by being on an annual plan, whenever a product gets updated with new capabilities, as we innovate new solutions to uh, our, our custom, for our customers, anybody on an active plan will automatically get those uh, updates in their Avid account. So a complete post solution. Absolutely. Uh, for music creation, for um, uh, audio post production, for video editing and music notation, our tool set offers a wide range of solutions for a, a diverse set of customers, which we cater to. And it's actually a great uh, segue to uh, what we've done recently and launched a product called Avid Link, which is a platform for our creative community to be able to collaborate, connect with other like-minded uh, artists so that they can also find others to work with on projects uh, from an independent, independent and, uh, uh, freelancer perspective all the way up to a large media organization that's looking for more talent for a production. Where can people find out more information about Avid Link? 
uh, on Avid.com. Uh, Avid Link is also free and it's on a mobile device uh, that you could download from Apple Store or Google Play Store as well as the Avid.com website. Thank you so much, Rob. Thank you.